fun with you, with my body, with my family. It was cool when you visited for Christmas, even though we didn't spend any time together. You just studied and studied and studied for that board exam so you could become a doctor, so you could fix people. I wish you could have studied to become a doctor who fixes our family. You know that when you left for Wisconsin, an alcohol problem and a new woman, a woman mom never knew about, but hey, she never, never mattered, neither did I or your daughters, but hey, I shouldn't complain really. You were gone my whole life, but not 1,000 miles away. I remember being sent away from you in a Wisconsin airport, back to a home with a mother with manic depression and two clueless sisters with new, no father. As I sat, nine years old, crying my eyes out, you told me not to cry because I'm the man of the house now. And you know what, Chris? I was the fucking man of the house. For four fucking years, I never cried. Not once. Because apparently, that's what being a man is about. But the older I get, the more I realize that's not what being a man is about. Being a man is caring about people. Being a man is accepting your weaknesses. Being a man has nothing to do with being masculine, but being a fucking adult. I was a man. I was 13 when you came back, and I was already something you never were. You came back to us and left, not through distance, but through divorce. I'm 16 now, and I see you every once in a while when you aren't feeding your addiction, not to liquor, but to work. You are my father. I don't have a father. I hate you, Dad. But I miss you, and I want to love you. But I don't think you'd really love me, and, I, and you'll never really come back. <laughs>